Hey everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to be creating a really simple shaker card with the help of some products from My Favorite Things. These products here are from the April release from My Favorite Things and I'm going to be using this cloud frame and window die set along with the cloud shaker pouches. Now My Favorite Things have several of these kind of window and frame and coordinating pouch die set so you may want to check those out over on the my favorite things store but they make it really super easy to create a shaker card i'm also going to be using that shooting star die and the aim for the clouds sentiment set so i'm going to start out by clipping my dies apart using my die snips here and i'm going to use my dies to kind of plan things out now to really get a sense of how big these dies are going to be or these die cuts are gonna be when I cut them out, I'm gonna just use some scrap white cardstock, run them through my die cut machine to help me plan out my card layout a little more because I wasn't sure if I'd have room for everything. And I think the cool thing about both of these die cuts is you can see when I cut the frame there, I actually have an inner part that I can use and that shooting star also cuts a perfect star that I can use on another project. So I'm just setting those aside. And I'm going to bring in a little sentiment banner here. I have a bunch of these banner strips die cut from the My Favorite Thing Vertical Hearts in a Row die set. These are like the perfect banner shapes for little thin sentiments. And what I did was just die cut a bunch of those and I keep them in a little jar so that when I need one, I have them ready. And I have them die cut from white cardstock, black cardstock, and vellum in there. So now that I kind of know where I'm going with this card project, I'm going to start my actual die cutting. And I'm die cutting the cloud window from a piece of kind of teal or pool colored cardstock. And I'm die cutting the frame from some silver glitter cardstock. Now I know what you were all thinking. And it did cross my mind to make this in gold, but <laughs> I thought I would give you a little rest from the gold and use silver glitter today instead. Now I am going to say that if I were going to do this card over again, I would do some things differently and this is one thing I would do differently. I am using some 1 8 inch score tape to put on the front of that lip of my little shaker pouch there. And it's not that I would use a different adhesive to adhere this, but I wouldn't adhere it just yet because I haven't stamped my sentiment on the front of this card yet. And so it does make it a little bit more difficult, but hindsight is 2020. And quite honestly, I didn't know everything that I was going to do when I started putting this card together. So I've gone ahead and put that score tape on that front lip and I did add a little bit to the card back just because I had a little bit extra torn off and I thought, why not? <laughs> So I put it on there and I placed my little shaker pouch into that window and it fits perfectly. Now I'm using my Zig 2 way glue pin and I'm putting that on the back of this frame and I'm going to nestle that around that shaker window and it fits perfectly. I love all of these different shapes that they have that make shaker cards so easy because it, it takes kind of the guesswork out. Since this kind of pops out, I don't have to think about how many layers of foam tape that I need. It just makes it easy and quick and kind of a no-brainer to create shaker cards with these My Favorite Thing products. Now my hand, it was in a weird position. The left arm was not moving. You can see it's kind of pulled back here. That's because I have an uncrustable under my arm to thaw it out. <laughs> I know that that is the weirdest thing, but I wanted to show you that that was my lunch and it was pretty darn good. I have to tell you, I'm a big fan of peanut butter and jelly and I don't eat it that often. And when I do, I thoroughly enjoy it. So you can see here, I positioned this wish big sentiment. That is from the handwritten happiness stamp set from My Favorite Things. I positioned that on my Misty. I stamped it in some VersaFine Clair black ink onto my card front. And now I am going to emboss this aim for the clouds greeting on this vellum sentiment strip. So I prep the surface with a powder tool. I'm stamping that down in some Versamark ink. And then I'm going to sprinkle on some silver embossing powder. I'm just going to tap off the excess before I heat set that. Now you might have seen me playing with these shooting star die cuts. I originally intended to cut this out of silver glitter cardstock and just do that all. But I thought it would be really cool to kind of make this a rainbow. And you saw how I kind of stacked them on top of each other 
to create those little tails that come out both sides of that star. I thought that was a really cool effect and a fun way to use it. I did have to flip one over to the back side in order to make this work. So I have one cut right side up and one cut from the back of the cardstock. If you were going to do this from a pattern paper, you would have to flip the pattern paper over so that the blade is touching the back of the pattern paper, if that makes sense. Anyway, one's flipped, one's not. I went ahead and used some Copic markers to color the little kind of arcs, rainbow arcs or wh whatever, I don't know, tails that are coming off of the star. And then I used some Zig 2A glue pen to stack the stars on top of each other. And because they're symmetrical, this works. And you can see I'm just kind of working it onto itself using my fingers to line up those edges. And then I cut another one from some silver glitter cardstock and I'm going to trim off those little trailings there. And I'm just going to use the star over the center star on the ones that I stacked up. So in the middle, there are actually three stars that are stacked up, giving it a tiny bit of dimension, but not too much. And you can see that allows me to have that silver star in the middle with those really cool rainbow trailings coming off. <laughs> My Uncrustable was finally ready. I took a break and I ate that and now I am back. And sometimes taking a break when you're in the middle of creating can really help you refocus and it gets your blood sugar back up. So that's always a good thing. So when I came back from my break, I decided this card needed a little something else. So I'm just using the black and white striped pattern paper from My Favorite Things. It's a six by six paper pad. And I'm putting a small strip of that across my card front and kind of skipping the area where that wish big is stamped and the vellum little sentiment piece there I adhered that onto my card front using some clear cool tack clear foam tape and then using my very scientific method I cut a piece of white cardstock to be the backer of my shaker pouch there I'm filling it with some iridescent star sequins from HAI and also some four millimeter sparkling clear sequins from Pretty Pink Posh. And once I have enough shaker guts in there, I'm going to add some multimedia mat on the back of that and place my little white cardstock piece right over the back so that those are all sealed in there and I won't have any leaking guts because there's nothing worse than a shaker with leaking guts. <laughs> Or maybe there is a saggy saggage, saggy cards. Th those might be worse than leaky guts. Anyway, while that was drying with a heavy block over the back to kind of seal it on there, I went ahead and added some shimmer to those rainbow trails. And now I'm using some multimedia mat to adhere that right over my shaker window, that entire piece. And once I set that down on there, I left it because I didn't want to smear glue onto my shaker window there and have that kind of hazy mess on the front of there. So I finished off the card front by adding some sparkling clear sequins and I added a layer of glossy accents over that silver glitter star. And then I'm going to use some foam tape to adhere this onto my A2 size card base. Now I did mention earlier that if I could do some things over in this card, I would probably do them over and some of it was the order. I should have put this card front onto the card base before adding all those sequins and that glossy accents over that silver glitter star, but it all turned out in the end, so we're all good. The other thing that I might do a little differently is maybe add a little texture to the card front with maybe a background stamp, like a mesh background stamp, just something to give it a little bit of like a linen texture, kind of a tone on tone, just to keep it from being quite so, I don't know, flat or plain. I'm not real sure. In the end, I have an adorable card project. It's got some fun things going on. It has glitter, it has sequins, it has rainbows, it has black and white stripes and scripty sentiments. I mean, I don't think you can ask for much more than that. <laughs> and you can see how easy it was to put that shaker element together using those My Favorite Things shaker pouches, which I love so much. As always, I will have links to the featured supplies in the description at YouTube, but head on over to my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Over there, I'll have more still shots, more information, and a complete list of supplies used in this project. As always, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my card making video tutorials. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.
thanks for sticking around to the end. You know, if you've made it this far, you are definitely my favorite. <laughs> To subscribe to my channel, click that button there on the left. And here's a couple more video tutorials I thought you might enjoy.